Hi, my name is Eva. And I'm Emma. And welcome to the episode for February 8th, 2019. Eighth grade parents, on February 11th, the high school guidance department is holding a parents night. You will be able to meet with your students' counselor, ask questions about scheduling, electives, and what to expect. If you didn't make the last meeting, this would be a good time to ask about new graduation pathways ways as well. It's from 4.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. at the high school guidance department. The Greenwood Community School Corporation is, inve is investigating the possible usage of e-learning days days where students would complete online assignments at home. An e-learning day would be used instead of, a in instead of a snow makeup day. Please assist us by filling out the parent e-learning survey that can be found on the GMS homepage. As we move forward with this process, we will give you more information. Thank you. Bus passes. If your child plans on riding another bus other than their own, they must be bring a handwritten note to the guidance office before noon that day. Please note, due to the number of students riding various buses, some buses are not open for guest riders. Monte Carlo night is February 23rd, 2019. Please join us for another wonderful night of fun and fundraising. Visit the GMS homepage to get details on how to order your tickets. Get your Kroger Rewards card today. Information can be found on the GMS homepage. Help the PTO raise money for some new and upcoming events that are quickly approaching. If you are dropping off or picking up your student, please do not do so on Stop 18. The only alternative is to meet them in Freedom Park. Students may use the walking path to meet you there. And if you are picking up your student during school, then you can pick them up in the bus lot. Also, make sure to make to join the Greenwood Athletics Remind Service to get up-to-date cancellation schedule, schedule changes as well as other important information. Text 81010 with the message at 24BKA to join. Registration for Greenwood Lassie League is open. If you wish to join, you can click the link in the description. Now to Mr. Dean with a special announcement. Hey students, Mr. Dean here. I have a special announcement for our annual staff versus the 8th grade girls basketball game. It's coming up this Monday, February 11th at 6 p.m. The cost is $3. All the money goes to the basketball program here at Greenwood Middle School. If you want to see Mrs. Manship's crossover dribble, maybe Miss Garrison doing her inside-out dribble, Euro step, Mr. Sh um, Ellington's going to be there taking on Ella Stivers in the paint. Mr. New trying to stop Kaylee Harris-Smith's three-point shot. Mr. Reinhardt high-stepping as one of the most fantastic point guards you've ever seen in Greenwood Middle School history. Again, students, it's coming up this Monday, February 11th, 6 p.m. It's only $3 to get in. There's going to be food. There's going to be games. There's going to be prizes. It's going to be a great time. So we hope to see you there Monday, February 11th, 6 p.m., and let's go now to a special interview with our own middle school robotics team. Hello, Greenwood Middle School students. It's Mr. Dean here, and I am with a few members of our middle school robotics team. I have Emma, Chris, and Dalton. And we are here in the competition arena for this year's lunar-themed challenge called Rover Ruckus. Promises to be a really good time this year. The robotics team has a couple of competitions coming up this February 16th in Denver, Indiana, and February 23rd in Lafayette. So, Dalton, tell me what's one of the most enjoyable things about being on the robotics team? Um, one of the most enjoyable things about being on the robotics team is that um, not only are there, like, the top two most important jobs, like programming or building, but there are also a bunch of other side jobs that are very important, like... Um, uh, figuring out our sponsors and making videos to get us points and all that. So robotics is obviously not easy, very challenging. We have Chris back here, seventh grader. What is one of the most challenging aspects of being on the robotics team? Well, there are multiple different challenges that all different parts of the team have to go through. Like um, the builders have to work on the arms and getting them operating correctly and they have to communicate to the programmers so that they can use the correct coding so that the arms can operate. And then 
Um, there's also CAD, and they have to program all of the parts of the robot together. And um, Engineering Notebook have to compile all of the reports and stuff that all the other parts of the team have created. There's just a lot of different things the team has to deal with. So it sounds like it takes a lot of working together and teamwork. And finally, Emma, the Rover Ruckus Competition Arena. Can you explain exactly what just a couple of the challenges are that you're going to try to accomplish as a team? Um, yes. Yeah, so what we are trying to accomplish as a team is over here is the crater, and it will be filled with different cubes of silver and gold and spheres. And our goal is to grab different uh, minerals from the crater and deposit them into the lander and then starting out we're going to be attached to the lander through our arm and we have to be four inches up off the ground then we have to descend and start our autonomous period and let's see and there are going to be minerals placed around just three on for each corner and they're going and we're going to try to push them and i think that's it okay thanks emma we're going to go into the workshop and talk to a few of the robotics builders and see what some of their challenges are so we're in here in the robotics workshop and i have charlie and he's got the team's robot for this R rover ruckus lunar themed competition again coming up February 16th in Denver, Indiana, and February 23rd in Lafayette. Charlie, do you want to tell us a little bit about the robot here? Sure, yeah. So we have to latch on to a piece of what we call the lander. And so there's this little hook that's an X amount of inches off the ground. So we use a pulley system and a motor to just let this arm go out. And then this servo opens and closes and that's what latches on and then we just reverse it and then pull ourselves up and sometimes that thing is different heights so we have this system that the wheels go in and out uh, height wise so we control our height and we also have another piece over here called our mineral arm excuse me guys which picks up little silver and golden squares and balls and then it lifts them up into that lander which we hold Alrighty. So again, be sure to keep the robotics team in your thoughts and let's cheer them on in these upcoming competitions. I'd like to thank Mr. Campbell and the entire robotics team for allowing us into their world to kind of see what they have coming up here in the next month or so. Now it's back to the studio. Hi, my name is Allie. Welcome to the new segment of Top Trending. Today we'll be ranking three of the most trending topics. Number three, we have the hottest earbuds in the game, AirPods. AirPods are Apple's wireless earbuds. All you have to do is take them out of the box and they're ready to connect. Sure, you may look like you have horns growing out of your ears, but they're convenient and have great sound quality. Do you have a pair of AirPods? What do you think of them? Number two, the Super Bowl takes place this Sunday in between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams won the NFC Championship against the New Orleans Saints with a questionable pass interference call. This raised an uproar in the NFL, but they decided to move on. Even though I'm not a fan, I think the Patriots will win. What do you think? Number one, we'll be talking about an egg. Yes, an egg. Most of you have probably already heard about the Instagram egg who tried to break the record for the most Instagram likes and succeeded. Last time we checked, the egg had over 51 million likes, blowing Kylie Jenner's post out of the water, which had 18 million likes. And this egg is still growing. They've even started making merchandise, which is getting kind of overwhelming. That's all we have time for today, but thanks for watching, and tune in next time to see what's trending. Thank you for watching this week's episode of GMS News. I'm Eva. And I'm Emma. Please visit our website and our YouTube channel to submit show ideas, suggestions, or anything else. Also, be sure to stay tuned for more upcoming live streams of GMS events. Have a great day.